So I just want to go over what was shown and everything and go over the character models as well because that is a big ass mess itself or I, I don't know what the hell happened, especially in this trailer I'm about to start up. It, it, it's just kind of weird. And, and I've been very critical on Bloober Team. Um, Bloober Team is a, a, a dev team that just hasn't put out very good products in years in my opinion, but that, that's just a topic for another day. I just want to go over this. Let, let's look at this first State of Plague trailer. And I really just want to give my thoughts on this trailer because it, it is a mess, I'm not going to lie with a character model wise so right here angela is <laughs> angela looks incredibly weird in the beginning of this trailer like i don't understand what the hell happened i would love for bloober team to come out and explain why she looks the way she does and i'm not saying like oh she's fat or whatever you know how everybody else is exaggerating it or whatever she's just her whole model looks weird her head is bigger than her body it looks she just looks very fucking weird and then later on in the trailer, sh her model looks pretty damn good. It's just so weird. I mean, like, come on, man. <laughs> come on. Like, when, when I seen people, when I heard the ruckus of what was going on, I'm like, oh, here we go. People exaggerating. And then I went back and looked because I didn't notice it on my first reaction. And then I'm like, oh, well, they kind of got a point. She looks like a Sims character in the PS3 era. Like, she looks terrible in my opinion. Blue Routine needs to come out and address this, definitely. By the way, I do know the characters of Silent Hill 2. And I'm going to touch on something funny later on in the video during the gameplay footage because I absolutely did not realize that was supposed to be Maria. That, that shit threw me all the way off. I'm not going to lie. Not this. I'm sorry. I, I was just... It's okay. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm kind of lost. I'm looking for Silent Hill. I think you should stay away. So, like, what's throwing me off as well? Now, I have never heard the original Angela voice actor. The voice acting in this is kind of taking me out as well. I'm not going to lie. And I'm very very critical on voice acting y'all remember when when separate ways for resident evil 4 came out and i'm a huge ada fan and and well not separate ways when the game came out and they nailed ada's character model but then when she opens her mouth i was like man who the fuck let this woman act like and it's no disrespect to her but it just was terrible right here the voice acting is kind of throwing me off it's not it, it just sounds out of place if that makes any sense it just doesn't seem like it belongs in this environment and in, in this situation it, it could just be me but i've really just the the voice acting is throwing me off this town there's something wrong with it like, is something wrong with it? It just doesn't match what's going on, if that makes sense. Is it dangerous? I like Jane's voice acting. Maybe. I'll be careful. I'm not lying. Oh my god, like, <laughs> oh my fucking goodness. <laughs> Like, I, I, I genuinely want to know what the hell happened right here. This looks like a PS3 character. It's ass, man. It's hot dog water. I, I'm going to give my flowers to Bloober Team because they made this game better than what I expected. And when I say better, of course, we, we don't know what the game is going to be like until we get our hands on it. But the game looks incredibly good from the gameplay footage. I thought Bloober Team was going to completely botch this and just get annihilated but they rebounded from that first trailer so i was very impressed with the gameplay footage but this shit right here it looked like her name is like helga or something like it, it's it's nasty nasty jesus christ man <laughs> oh god i guess i don't really care if it's dangerous or not So every, you know, right here, it looks creepy as hell. And this is what makes me so excited to play this game. It's just the the psychological horror that makes Silent Hill the best at, at, at horror, in my opinion. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm a diehard Resident Evil fan, but Resident Evil's horror is not on the level of a Silent Hill's horror. If you have not played Silent Hill, I, I can imagine this is going to be great for a lot of newcomers. But when you play a Silent Hill game, you're terrified to bust corners and the music just is unsettling. It's just a terrifying time. And then the enemies are fucking scary as hell as well so it's just like i love seeing shit like this this is what makes me excited to play this game no and then okay so this is what throws me off right here angela's model right here looks 
damn good. It's like night and day from what I just saw. So clearly this game isn't polished at all because why the hell is she looking like two different characters? It's, it's ridiculous. Especially because this game was announced, what, two years ago? And there's been some rumors that this game was already finished. This game was already ready to be put out. They were just waiting on the, the go ahead, the green light from Ko uh, Konami. So it's just kind of scary to see that the character model for Angela is not even looking consistent because this looks like a whole new character, but she looks so much better right here. No, you shouldn't be here. And the voice lines are better on that end. The, the delivery, I should say. The nurse has always been scary from what I've seen. <laughs> and I know that set a lot of people off the wrong way to the um the shooting and then you know the the enemy reacting, crouching over, like slumping over, and then going up to make the finishing blow with the, the weapon and it's just making it a little bit more realistic because, of course, if you shoot somebody in the leg, they're going to hunch over. It's it's just more realism into the into the remake, which is understandable. I, I'm not, you know, bothered by it, but I know some OG fans are. I don't talk to some people. They, some people just don't like it, but hey. Like, that looks so good, man. Look how dark it is. I'll be good, I promise. Tell him I'll be good, please. The voice, it, it, the voice is kind of throwing me off sometimes. Like the delivery, it doesn't make it seem like it's a high tense situation. I know it's a trailer, and this is Silent Hill, man. You gotta make sure you deliver. It, it seems kind of funny. It sounds, it sounds more funny than scary, in my opinion. I know something serious is going on, but it just doesn't sound as serious, if that makes sense. I love this looks amazing. Now I don't know if that's a boss battle again. I have not played Silent Hill 2, so I don't know the levels or anything. I just know the basic characters and you know the the, the story premise. That's all I really know about Silent Hill 2. But this looks like a boss battle and it looks horrifying. So that is the state of play trailer that was um very controversial on the character model in, and rightfully so. I still think people are slightly overreacting because they're wanting Silent Hill to fail due to these character models and i don't know what silent hill fan needs to hear this but when it comes to silent hill everything is on this remake if this remake fails you're not gonna see a three remake you're not gonna see a four and you potentially won't see a, a, a maybe a five so to all the silent hill fans i'm just I, i'm not saying your your critiques aren't warranted but if you're going out your way and you're like over hating it and you're doing the the extra and you want this game to fail silent hill is gonna go right back into the dirt that that has been in for fucking years okay pt was supposed to be the revival silent hill and we know how that turned out unfortunately potentially having silent hill back in its form with how resident evil is on top of the world right now would be the best thing to happen in gaming now i feel like this is the biggest issue when it comes to the og fans and uh konami it seems like konami is low-key just saying this is more for the modern audience and this isn't really for our old older fans we're trying to get a new wave on the silent hill train so they can get silent hill back up and run it again and i don't like the way they worded their post here they said see how bloober team devs working on silent hill to preserve the the authenticity while adapting a horror classic for modern audiences at first i did not think anything of them saying the modern audience because i see a lot of people making a big ass deal about it and i'm just like okay everybody's overreacting but when i sat here and i was like really just looking at people's reactions they feel neglected when it comes to this remake so apparently they they've made a bunch of changes they, i guess they took out dialogue they made some portions brighter than than the original and it really took away from the spookiness and everything and i'm somebody that's willing to learn i don't think i know everything so i i was really just reading through comments trying to grasp the silent hill silent hill fans mindset when it came to this and really what i got from it is just like they just feel they're being left out honestly they have every right to feel like that in my opinion konami's blatantly telling them this is not really for y'all y'all have the original i have the og games y'all can go play that this is just for the people that's gonna put money in our pockets right now and make this game skyrocket and konami's actually smart for thinking like this i mean it is kind of fucked up don't get me wrong but they are actually smart for this because i i felt like they they sat back and they looked at how resident evil was doing and don't get me wrong capcom is not doing what konami is doing capcom has 
respected the OG fan base and granted the wishes of a modern audience. You know, people that were like, oh, we want to aim while walking instead of having to stay still and aim. They made the necessary tweaks and everything, but they didn't leave anybody out. That's why Resident Evil remakes are having the success that they're having. The same cannot be said with Konami because I just see too many people upset and it's the OG fan base. Now, don't get me wrong. The game still looks incredible. The gameplay Everything looks very, very good, and I can't wait to get my hands on this game and experience Silent Hill 2 for the first time. I, and I see fans, oh, the gameplay looks good, the environment looks good, but you know, so-and-so and so, a lot of them still want to play it. They just feel like they shouldn't have some things, you know what I mean? And, it, and, and it's completely understandable. So I'm not going to say Silent Hill fans are fucking tripping or anything, unless you're the ones, you know, screaming that this game is going woke and that other bullshit. Y'all people need fucking help. But anyway, so this is the gameplay we got from Konami, and I mean, everything looks great in my opinion. I've seen people saying, Oh, this looks like a PS3 game and I'm getting real tired of this lazy ass hate that people are doing anytime they see something they don't like they want to say it looks like a fucking ps3 game they did the shit with this they did the same shit with rise of ronin when it absolutely did not look like a fucking ps3 game that was just so despicable and they're doing the same thing with silent hill if you think this looks like a ps3 game you need your eyes checked okay you can at least become a better hater sounding stupid and hating is the worst combination you can at least have a logic and just try to stretch the truth a little bit that's not what y'all doing this game looks like a next generation game this game looks amazing I don't want to go through the whole thing. That was just the environment or whatever, because of course I can't nitpick everything that a person that's played not uh, Silent Hill 2 original can. But I want to go through this section here as well. Um, this is more look on the combat. Now this, now this part right here with the enemy. The enemy looks kind of weird in my opinion. Like it looks rubbery. Like <laughs> I don't know how to explain. It looks weird they did fix the combat up thank god but just i don't know it's just the graphics of the the the, the enemy model it just looks like rubbery like not real like a fucking toy that you could just squeeze in it and it squeaks or some shit. it just just looks unreal in my opinion like for a next gen game i i expected them to be able to make the most grotesque looking enemy like make them just look real disgusting this is silent hill we're talking about and it just, the enemy looks rubbery. I, I don't know how to, it just looks weird. Remember at first, the first gameplay trailer, when you're hitting the enemy, it was making like these squeaky sounds. Like it just, it sounded awful. So I'm glad Blue Team paid attention to the uh, the critiques and made, made a fix to it. But the gameplay looks, it's, it's a, it, it is an upgrade from the original because I don't care Silent Hill fans, y'all have to keep it real, man. The the gameplay of the OG games were not was not good. I, I get it. It's not the focal point. It's not what makes Silent Hill Silent Hill. In a remake, you have to make the the uh, the the fighting a lot better. You just have to. And then I don't think they overdid it. They just made it look more visually pleasing to the eye. So I love how the music is sounding. Real isolated. Like, it just sounds very spooky. Like, it sounds real fucking scary. I'm not gonna lie. I love what they did with the music. And I and I love the fact that he just busted a car door open to, to get the medicine. And it doesn't look like anything is directing him. Letting him know, hey, the medicine's right here. I don't want this game to hold anybody's hand. Again, this is horror. This is Silent Hill. There's no hand holding. So, that is, uh, that, that is something I'm really appreciating from Bluebird Team. And it, it might be small, but it, it is huge. The fog looks fucking amazing. The whole game just looks great, but the fog looks amazing in my opinion. The leaves blowing, everything just looks very fluent. That music and headphones is really going to drive me crazy. I already know. So then you got this section right here. So this is the... <laughs> I'm not going to lie, man. Uh, again, I have not played Silent Hill 2 before, but I do know how the characters look. And when I seen this character, if y'all seen my reaction, I was like, who the fuck is this character? Like, I've never seen her before. I did not realize this was Maria. And then when I watched my video over again after I posted it, I was like, wow, I'm slow as hell. But it does not look like Maria from the original. And they switched her outfit and everything. I seen people really upset about that. And then I'm just sitting here like, Okay, 
this, this doesn't give off, oh, these are horny fuckers mad about a, a clothes switch or anything. Knowing how Silent Hill is, the clothes probably meant something to the story or to maybe James or somebody else in the game. Because the, the way I've seen people reacting to it, I really think that's what it was about. And knowing how modern gaming is now, they'll probably just make her original costume DLC. You, you guys know how that shit goes. Capcom made Jill's. Resident Evil 3 original costume DLC. So, I mean, it's just how things work nowadays. Maria right here looks like Miley Cyrus and Hannah Montana cosplay. Like, y'all remember, I don't know if y'all watched Hannah Montana back then. I did. I was a kid. All right, relax. Get off my dick. Miley Cyrus will put the blonde wig on and everything. Then, bam, she's Hannah Montana. That's what the fuck Maria looks like right here. Like, it, it just doesn't look like her. I love her original model so much better, but I get it. It's for the modern audience. I understand. But, goddamn, bro, this is a huge departure, in my opinion. And it's valid criticism. I've seen people going crazy about this one too she definitely does not look better than her original and i feel like blue team got inspiration from ashley from resident evil 4 i mean look at ashley right <laughs> look at ashley and then look at maria's face clearly there was a lot of inspiration from the the ashley remake model and that's what i get <laughs> that's the vibe i get from here especially the camera angle it is real resident evil 4 remake ish or just capcom ish in in general and i know that rubbed people the wrong way as well they don't like the camera angle for silent hill they're not saying the camera angle is ugly Let's but around. if you look at it here it's real up close and it's getting really really close to the action or the the horror and i me personally i like it but i'm a resident evil fan i fucking love this camera angle you know what i mean Bro, that don't look like Maria. I ain't gonna lie, that don't look like Maria. But this right here is what really sold me on this game because I was on the fence about this remake. I've been very critical about Bloober Team. I'm not a Bloober Team fan or anything, but they really proved that they actually loved the original Silent Hill 2, in my opinion. Because they really could have just did some bullshit, and I expected them to. I thought this was good. This game was going to completely be ass. But th this right here made me have faith in them. I love how dark it is. I love how tense it feels. And yeah, the run with the gun on the side side is very Leon-ish. I, I came front. But come on, man. Y'all got to stop nitpicking. I mean, come on, bro. Y'all ain't lying, though. Y'all really ain't lying. I, I want to say y'all are, but y'all not. Oh, yeah, this part right here, it was so visually pleasing. I fucking love this. Then the enemy appears. I'm glad they fixed the gun sounds. And then it has that intenseness, at least the camera-wise, like uh, uh, Last of Us or Uncharted when it, when it comes to the combat. Every swing, the camera kind of zooms in a little bit more to, to, to show you the impact. I don't think the combat's fine. I think that this is how you, you make the gameplay better to improve the game, in my opinion. And I know y'all don't want to hear this, man, but Bloober Team job was to make this game appeal to people that haven't played Silent Hill 2 before. For somebody like me that has never played silent hill 2 this footage got me hyped so it's a different feeling for somebody that hasn't played the game before and then you got that part that part was that that part would be absolutely scary with headphones on but that's all i really wanted to like really touch on with the gameplay footage and everything i just want people to remain calm when it comes to this and just give it a chance if you're an og fan like i said i can't really sympathize with y'all like i could with a silent hill 3 or 4 like if they made a remake for that i could definitely give my input like crazy on it but for somebody that's new to silent hill 2 not the series but 2 uber team did the job that they were supposed to do and that's probably what konami told them to do Make this game appeal to the newer audience, to the people that have not played Silent Hill. Because at the end of the day, yeah, the OG love is always going to be there, but the newer fans that they can draw in could revive the series. That's how gaming is nowadays. When it comes to these older games and these remakes, the whole point of a remake is to appeal to the newer audience. And that's just, it just is what it is. That's what makes Capcom so goaded, in my opinion, because they know how to appeal to both the OG fans 
and the uh, newer audience. And it seems like Konami is just going to go through a rough pack figuring this whole thing out with Silent Hill. Because it seems like Silent Hill fans are a little bit more uptight than RE fans. That's just my point of view of everything. This is going to probably be a game that releases. And some OG fans are going to have fun with it. They might not love it, but they might have fun with it. And then it, there's going to be a lot of OG fans that just don't want anything to do with this. And they don't want the Silent Hill series to get remade because of the outcome of silent hill 2 it's it's really up to the newer fans to the series to push this franchise forward because i can guarantee you if this game does numbers they are absolutely gonna go remake silent hill 3 and they're gonna go remake silent hill 4 i don't know if they'll they'll do one but they will for sure remake Silent Hill 3 because that is considered the... Well, I can't even say that. Silent Hill 2 is considered the best one in the series. But I see a lot of people say 3 is the best one. I love 3 way more than I love 4. So there's that. So uh, 3 would definitely get the remake treatment. I, I believe Silent Hill 4 would get it too because Silent Hill 4 is severely underrated in my opinion. And I think they have the best villain in the Silent Hill franchise in my, in my opinion my humble opinion Sullivan is that guy but uh my taking all this I really want this game to succeed because I would love to see Silent Hill franchise revive PT was supposed to do it and that went horribly wrong so I'm hoping this game does its number despite the hate that it's getting and trust me I get it I a thousand percent get it at the end of the day if you want Silent Hill to be up and running to have another shot at life this game has to succeed and that, that's just my honest take on it the the criticism is valid but there is definitely a lot of overreacting going on with this game and that's just my personal opinion y'all let me know how y'all feel in the comment section make sure y'all leave a like and hit that subscribe button for your boy i appreciate every single last one of y'all and i'll catch you guys on the next video peace